Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video, I figured I'd finally do a guide video. I haven't done one in quite a long time, and I figured this is a pretty appropriate one since I haven't really seen anyone do something like this. I'm gonna write you a cheat sheet to take on Arch Tempered Volcana. And to do that, I'm gonna use the greatsword. I know I'm gonna get comments going, uh, you're using Fatalis or you're using Arch Tempered Volcana to kill Arch Tempered Volcana because you should be, honestly. So I'm going to use a regular Volcana set with an Agitated Charm that can be swapped with either Crit Eye or whatever you want, honestly. But this is more than enough to kill her. And yeah, let's go fight an Arch-Tempered Volcana and show you how to do it if you are struggling with any weapon. I also chose Greatsword because it's both the most comfortable weapon for me to fight her with, as well as one of the most committal weapons. So if I can land damage on this weapon, anyone can land damage on their weapons, as long as you know what attacks to roughly do. Alrighty, let's go, of course. Got max health because I used a gourmet ticket, and I've got Moxie. Moxie. Moxie will save your butt a lot. Even in full Fatalis gear, full Arch Temper Volcana gear, she will one-shot you most of the time, which is where I think a lot of people get the difficulty of this monster from, but I honestly don't see it. Gonna throw Rocksteady on. Her roar is quite deceptive. She does her, like, flourish thing and then she roars. It's kind of weird. So we're going to go for the Warbang, of course, get that free damage in. We are immediately going to go Weaken, because getting her face weakened is going to increase our damage quite a bit. And we're going to hit the face a lot. That is basically where we're aiming. We're aiming at the face, as well as the, uh, the arms there. We can charge this to full, because she will roar off the Warbang, so you don't need to worry about that. She'll Ice Beam from this. As you can see, I'm pretty much just walking away from everything. I don't have Focus on here, so I can only learn level 2 which is completely fine. She chose a sweep. You just run up to her. That's all it is. Again, I don't have focus, so it takes a little bit, but we got it. Nice and easy. She'll always bite breath or cone breath off of the charge. You can see she chose bite off that one. Draw slash. Easy stuff. This is basically all we're going to be doing. That, you just run towards her because it doesn't actually place it underneath her. She gave me another opening. I always go towards the arms with this one because it's just more reliable than trying to head snipe off that. Although you can definitely do it, of course. Another snipe. Just wait out the three attacks. She'll always cascade off this, which is a free opening. I'm going to go for full level three, because I don't have focus. Otherwise, you would be able to land a true charge slash off that at max. She will ice breath. We just walk. I got hit, unfortunately, but you can usually just walk around that. You all saw it earlier. Sweeping again, which is kind of unlucky because we were a little bit out of place, but that's all right. Don't go towards the cat. We've also got the, I the uh, what's it called, rocks from the sky, of course, which are going to be very handy. It's a huge, huge chunk of free damage. Think of it like three TCSs on the face. It is very chonky to get one of these boulders to drop on top of her. We're way too far away, so we're just going to dive. There's no reason to try and iframe it normally. She is in ice mode, so she gets two new attacks now off her off her dash. Because obviously she'll charge through you, she'll do that bite. She will always sweep now. So just look out for that. This is a huge opening. Oh, that's unfortunate. But uh, every time she does that sweep, that is a huge opening. She's going to do the cone instead. As I said, she can do cone, the ice from the sky, or she can do the bite. Whichever one she chooses, you just adjust to it. If you're roughly near her, she should do the... Ice from the sky, usually. Very odd AI that she chose that three times in a row. But uh, it is what it is. Was in zero danger there. Wait for her face. Unfortunately, I missed it. But we still got damage in, which is fine. Yep, as I said, she'll always do one of those. Two, three. Unfortunate. I'm used to having focus on my weapon, that's for sure. Gotta get used to it. I can only land level twos off things. Agitator's gone. We can go for a wall bang. Just be very careful. Um, she is very deadly to those that try and grapple onto her, which she was about to do to me. Um, I'm actually going to spin her three times. Force the Enrage. She'll always roar off the Enrage, so you're safe to get a weaken if you don't get the Warbang. So don't worry about that. The other Icicle is there, so we'll try that. Yeah, look at that. Pretty much like three of my TCSs in damage, just right there. She did Ice, we go towards her. Smack her in the face. We got a Clagger. I can't get much off this. Actually, I can get a little bit. We go for that into level 2 that way. 1, 2. But, but, unfortunate. Again, I keep forgetting I don't have focus. If you get hit by that, obviously, just lay down. It's fine. 
block it. I got a little bit lucky with the Divine Protection proc, but it is what it is. Sometimes roll through them, but you're normally safe to just run forward if you're like close enough, obviously. Yep, that's fine. Go for level two, maybe. Because again, I don't have focus. Yeah, that's fine. With focus level three, you'd be able to land a full charge TCS off that every single time. Same with this, you'd land a level three slash. But since I don't have it, I can only land level two. That was unlucky. Is what it is. Ice from the sky again, that's fine. Just smack her once. Oh, unlucky. There's that Moxie. Very, very handy, as I said. Gonna lose it to pretty much anything. She hits really hard. But that's okay. Land our full slash off this. Bang, bang. She'll always do a roar off this. You get plenty of time to do whatever you want, essentially. <laughs> Apparently I need focus to land that too, so maybe go for level 2 as well. But that's okay. Sweep. That's fine. Smack her. You don't even have to get greedy if she does the sweep off that. Because honestly, it's kind of hard to hit her face with it or snipe her face with it. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. But you can see she has plenty of openings. Plenty of openings. Again, get greedy. I'm just getting greedy because it's going to be a long fight either way with my gear. But that's okay. You don't have to. You definitely don't have to. You should have much better equipment. I think like the normal setup you would have is like... Either full Fatalis on this lass or um, three-piece Kaiser, two-piece Raging Bracky. Should easily have that. Okay. Nice and easy. There's our knockdown. I should have gone to charge that slash. I don't know why I didn't. Because we do have most of our damage in the draw attack, of course, from crit draw. Nice. Not too bad. Another thousand damage. We'll take it for sure. She's also out of agitator, so she'll do this twice. If we grappled on, it would have been great. Because we could have gotten a wall bang off that. Same as that. Sweep. Ooh. Luckily, I got a... Uh... Oh, I didn't actually. Thought I got a divine protection proc there, because that usually... Uh... It's really hard. But we got lucky. She does this twice. Sweep it. We can get a wall bang. As I said, she's not enraged, so she'll only do two attacks out of pretty much all of it. So you're completely safe there. I haven't gotten a weaken in a while, so I'm going to go for the weaken, of course. And we're going to go for a full charge slash again, because she's not going to do anything. She's going to roar, basically. One, two, and three. Bang. Unfortunately, I hit the neck. Is what it is. It's fine. Probably just level two. Again, I don't have focus. It's just very handy on Greatsword. Land a chunk of extra damage on this last in particular. But it's fine. Second one, we'll take it. It's all just free damage. <laughs> As I missed. It's okay. Bang, go to the next zone. Pretty scuff run so far, but you just get the idea. There are so many openings with Arch Tepid Volcana. I'm in literally zero danger. Even without the Moxie, there's pretty much nothing that worries in this fight. If she does sweep from range, you obviously just dive because you can't punish it. She did the nuke, you just run under her. Preferably go to her right because the beam starts on the left. But uh, it's pretty safe. I should go for level 2. 1. I went for 3. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have focus, just go for level 2. I'm too used to having focus. She'll Cascade, of course. Again, we go for... Actually, I'm going to go for Charge Slash off this. Yeah. I sent it a bit early as well. But uh, definitely wanted to land it. We've missed so many attacks. Bite, Cone, or Breath. She chose Bite, which means she sweeps. Because she's in Ice Mode. This is free damage every day of the week. Take it. As you see, it's like a full Charge Slash almost for me. Very much worth it. Very, very nice. Oh, another opening. We take those. Another one again. Lovely stuff. Thank you. So generous. Uh, we're going to... Ooh, grapple. I'm going to go for a full charge slash this time. Because uh, we missed the last TCS. Because normally you can aim back towards where her face would be, which is where you grapple from generally. And uh, you should be able to land a level 2 TCS, not level 3. But uh, definitely land a level 2 off it. Ice from the sky. Kind of bad AI from distance there, but it is what it is. I shouldn't have been that far away, but I was trying to get her out of a small hallway. Because uh, you don't want to fight her in a secluded spot, really. Ice from above. Nice and simple. Level 1 and level 2. Bang. Don't be next to the cat, because 
That was such an unlucky ice wall. Uh, she's going to do a far breath. We can just superman dive. That said, we don't land damage off that because we're way, way too far. So it's no problem at all to just superman dive it. You keep running forward. That always goes behind you or like where you are. She went over to the wall for me, which is lovely. Ice again. This is a huge opening, so we just wall bang. One and two. Uh, I think I should have gone for it off the first. But that's okay. We'll weaken off this. Yoink. And spadoink. Again, she'll always roar off the enrage. So you can just charge up your level three slash. Even without focus, I still land it. And on the chest again. Unlucky. Her three hit combo, of course. Smack her again. Just aim roughly for the arms or face. It's a very, very good spot to reliably hit. She did her nuke again. Careful of sprinting here because it can slide. You don't want it to slide, otherwise you'll probably get hit. And the nuke's going to hit you really, really hard. So definitely don't do that. That's all I can land off it because I don't have rocks. That's fine. Just watch the ice. Should walk over and do something, which she did. She's going to Cascade. So we just land a level... Oh, she chose not to. Okay. Nice. Got kind of unlucky with AI there. She'll ice from above. Yeah, kind of unlucky with AI there, but it is what it is. That's an option, obviously. She's going to do Sweep and just run over to her. Probably don't even have to run, honestly. It's just safer. Hit the chest again, unfortunately. You can do ice and land. Not too bad. Sometimes she'll choose really dopey AI and she'll like fly around a lot. That happens whenever she gets staggered midair. So having like the coral gong can do that. Um, there's a few other things obviously if you stagger her with insect glaive or something. Uh, she gets staggered in the air. The only way she'll land is by doing a like full horizontal sweep underneath her. And Obviously, you just go to the other side of her face. Hopefully, she does it at some point. But, uh, it's unlikely. She usually doesn't get staggered out of the air all that often. Like, I'd have to line up the Coral Gong for it, basically. Free damage once again. Maybe get the mount. Nope, not quite. Probably, like, one or two hits away. She'll do Ice Cone. Lovely stuff. Kind of in the wall, unfortunately, but we'll try. We got it. The Sweep. Into Cascade. Nice and easy. Just land our level 3. Or level 2. I went for level 3. Okay, we got it on her arm. It's very sketchy without focus. You should definitely, definitely have it. Go far left because we have to go to her left there. Obviously, we're going to go up a slope otherwise, and that's not great. 1, 2, 3. Horrible positioning here, but we still hit it. Just two level 3s. That's all we can really get from that. Dodge the stab. Ice from above. Just don't sprint because we're on a slope. Smack her. And she's going to sleep. No? Okay. Thought she was going to sleep off that. That's fine. Beautiful. Same as always. Just get that opening. We're in zero danger again. We were too fast, so we went backwards instead. You can also obviously block. Or, uh, like, jump over it. I think you can jump over it pretty comfortably, too. Let's pick up the rocks so we can land a TCS. Nice and easy. Bang, bang, one, two. I think she's going to the next zone, which means we didn't do enough damage, which is fine. She should be very close to almost being dead. I should have recorded the test run because uh, that was very clean. <laughs> Basically got her down in like 15 minutes with this set. But it is what it is. That's what I get for not recording it. But yeah, you'll can see it's pretty simple fight, honestly. There's so many openings. And the fight is very, very fair, as long as you play pretty safe. She's doing this, we get a chance to wall bang, because she's not enraged. One, into the wall we go. We're going to get our weaken, of course. She might even leave zone off this, actually. So, it's good to get the weaken now. If she goes to sleep, I'll show you the greatsword uh, wake up. It's very good in multiplayer, as well as single player. You land a lot of free damage off it. It's uh, very, very crispy. Nice, I hit the wing. She'll do ice ring. Very simple. One, two... Oh, that stagger was almost real bad, but that's okay. Try not to stand on top of the crystals. If she attacks the crystal, she'll burst it. Okay, luckily they did the gong early. She's also weak now, you can see the pulse is quite weak. Go forward. So 
so she should leave very soon here sweep oh it's the nuke again go to the right we just wait it out gonna do a full charge level three regular one got hit by the ice like crystals that i was talking about but yeah i went for the full level three there because uh obviously we don't have rocks kind of need rocks to do the tcs off that opening at least fine one more smack one two oh sweet so we get a cascade level three off this one two three oh i let it go early because i figured she was gonna move not having focus has been very rough for that we got a knockdown one two three because our draw slash does a lot of damage that's basically where most of our damage has come from it's just draw slashing so definitely charge up that draw slash if you can beautiful stagger timing we grab the face and land a full level three because she's not out of in reach which means our weaken isn't gone three bang should leave yeah there it is pretty simple and now i'll show you the guaranteed great sword wake up or like pretty much guaranteed it's a lot of free damage and i think most times it should do more than the tcs opening it's also quite awkward to hit her face because the horns like protrude out and make a bit more of a hit zone or hit box for you so this is a little bit more reliable in my opinion and you can do it in multiplayer so you can get huge huge damage off this like 10 to 13k if you've got two to three great sword users it's very crispy of course the agitator's gone but she's going to get enraged immediately because we are going to hit her so damn hard as you'll see very shortly so basically go to this rock do one slash into a charge slash at the face and then aim at that flower basically one two bang and bang easy now if you got like a full set of gear probably do about 2k on the first hit and then obviously your tcs is going to chunk pretty hard anyway but uh very reliable can't really mess it up okay one two bang again i don't have focus so i gotta go for level twos instead of level three which is whatever honestly bite oh cone interesting there we go some more free damage she can bite into sweep or cone easy stuff now if i got the rock earlier she might actually be dead here but obviously i missed it bite into sweep free opening as i've been saying this is literally just a free opening there's the mount i was hoping for you also get a mount off it which is just gonna be a free opening i'm gonna land like a full level three off it into maybe i have time for a tcs as well but we definitely want to get that level three of course it's a lot of crispy damage for free so uh we'd be very happy to see that one more staggered should be the end of the mount yep lovely charge it up one two there lots of free damage and now we get our wake up to or like our strong level three slash very very juicy one two three bang slinger one two three barely got time for it as you can see we got like 2800 damage off that that's that's very nice the gong unfortunate timing because she was about to give us an opening but she's giving us ice rings now so it kind of makes up for it get our level two nice and easy do the sweep again always go to the right if you're close enough it's just going to be a lot safer to deal with she does the rings one into slinger burst luckily the gong didn't interrupt it there because that would have been really bad <laughs> i keep forgetting i don't have focus want to go for level twos there if you're using the same set that's very rude oh that sliding actually saved me i think we were in danger there we definitely take those we interrupted it so she starts a combo again she did one two three simple just smack her face she hasn't done the bad aerial stuff yet so i haven't really been able to show it off unfortunately but uh she'll basically do a cone back and forth underneath her and the way to deal with that is you just go to the opposite side of her face she's out of in range so we wall bang one uh that should work we'll take that there it is a little bit slow because i messed up a lot of openings but you all can see even with the great sword i've got no focus on here so i missed a lot of damn damage that i should have had whatever weapon you're using whatever build should work completely fine you just need to learn those openings that's all it is 
Still the same set. Didn't swap or anything. Just went in regular Volcana against ATV. Completely fine. Those exact openings will work with literally every single weapon in the game. Excluding maybe Charge Blade, but you should be able to land like, uh, draw Savage Axe swings. We draw into Axe. Still do a lot of damage anyway. Well, everybody, that was some Arch-Tempered Volcana general tips. Because, again, I haven't really seen a video like this, honestly. I don't know why, but there you go. With a very scuffed build, I literally threw it together in, like, two minutes. Because it's like, oh, what's something everyone can get with nothing extreme, with none of the benefits that you should have. Hopefully that helps some of your kill Arch-Tempered Volcana, though. She is a dance. Once you learn her fight, it becomes really, really easy, as you can see. And you should be able to do it. I believe literally anyone can do this fight. You just have to put the time in to learn her. Hopefully some of these can help you out. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.